Hello and welcome to PlayStation Grenade. A few months ago, it looked like Friday the 13th had been abandoned by the developers and we all died a little bit on the inside. Well, not only were those reports completely wrong, but an entire year of content has been mapped out for us. In Friday the 13th, three more pieces of DLC will be unleashed on us with part four Jason, a new counselor named Mitch, a new weapon type, a new map, and a round of emotes to get our teeth into, or rather our pig splitter into. Hmm, more on that in a sec. The latest Jason being added to the mix is from Friday the 13th, the final chapter, aka and lovingly referred to as Part 4 Jason. Last time we spoke about this game, I put my money on Part 5 Jason joining the crew, but I'm happy to be wrong. Part 4 Jason comes with what I'm reliably told is a pig splitter which looks to be like a slaughterhouse version of a good old butcher's cleaver, only 100 times more dangerous and a thousand times more frightening in the hands of Jason. Part 4 Jason is completely free but comes with a level 44 caveat, so get grinding if you aren't there already. We all know a new Jason is all about brutal kills, so here is one you savages, enjoy! <laughs> Other kills include a WWE style pile driver and a good old decapitation we are now completely desensitized to. With the new Jason from part 4, it's only right to have a new location from the same movie, and here it is, the Jarvis house map. The film's location has been recreated to perfection, but with so much water around the locale, this map will require strong coordination from the survivors, and a Jason that moves quickly around in water could be the best pick for this map. The internal decor of this house looks magnificent and probably the most detailed to date. Right, I can't wait any longer, let's talk about Chuck, introducing the first counsellor to be added to the Friday the 13th ranks, Mitch Floyd. I'm sure any movie fan will pick up on his similarities to Chuck from Friday the 13th Part 3. In the first screenshot we were given, his appearance is nigh on the exact same, with the hooped shirt, the glasses, the beard and even the bandana. He even has a lovely tie-dyed shirt to push the hippie vibes. Let's hope he survives longer than his movie counterpart. Chuck, I mean Mitch, has some interesting stats to consider. His 9 out of 10 for composure means he's not one to be scared of Jason, and his 8 out of 10 repair skills will make those mechanic minigames a doddle. His stealth stat at 6 out of 10 is above average, so he looks like he's a real option. Sadly, his other stats are low, and only 2 out of 10 for luck, so those moments of complete fluke, such as not being hurt by climbing through a broken window, or somehow having reduced damage from a machete to the head, they're not possible with Mitch. They deserve to die, Jason. Make them suffer. Mr. Floyd will not be so lucky, so don't expect a miracle and you'll be fine. Similarly, Mitch won't be outrunning Jason as his stamina makes me look like I'm in tip-top shape and his strength is pretty much non-existent too. If you want to play as Mitch Floyd, stick with the group and hope your composure will make Jason miss you cowering in a corner. Mitch Floyd will be completely free and releases, you've guessed it, on Friday the 13th. Finally, a new emote pack is here, which will not be free but could be tempting. Ten brand spanking new emotes will be livening up Crystal Lake. The funny dance. Brushing a shoulder. The superhero pose. The good old slow boogie. A little bit of a wave. This crazy sh**. A bit of crying, thinking about things, someone who feels a bit on edge, and some more dancing. I've got to admit I really like the funny dance, but am I willing to hand over two dollars for the privilege? Who am I kidding? Yeah, I'm gonna bloody buy it. So there we have five new things coming to Friday the 13th on Friday the 13th. What do you think to the latest offerings, and will you be trying out Mitch? I'd love to know your thoughts. I'm Adam from PlayStation Grenade. It's been a pleasure. I'll see you next time.